Let's go ahead and tune in. Um, I got a class at three, so we're gonna have to. I guess I have a class at four, so yeah. Not three, if that was three, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Press the palms together, rub them. We'll tune in with just Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo today. Press the base of your thumbs to heart center and take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Pause the breath, squeeze up on your mole bond, just your rectum, sex organs, and navel point. Exhale. Do one ohm, inhale. So we're gonna start with all of our fingertips pressing together just right in front of the heart, but our palms will be apart. So we're just kind of creating a little tint here. Yep. Just right in front of the heart center. Close the eyes and then open them barely and look at the tip of your nose. Let me get my timer up. So we're just barely with the eyes open looking towards the tip of your nose. You should feel the pressure at your brow point, your third eye center. This is some meditation to help relieve stress, and clear emotions of the past, but it also connect your heart to your third eye. You're gonna be inhaling for five seconds, holding for five seconds, exhaling for five seconds. I will cue the inhale, the hold, and the exhale. So just get your breath slow, and if you're not full, or if you're not empty, that's fine. Let's take one breath together, full and fast, inhale. Exhale, inhale, pause, exhale, inhale, pause. Exhale. Inhale. 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 Pause.
exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Inhale fast. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the hands, palms up on the knees. Close the eyes. Index finger and thumb tip touch. Just a few breaths. So today we are going to do a full Kriya, which it's good to try to fit one of these in occasionally, which the last time we met that heart thing was a full Kriya as well. So they tend to last about an hour, give or take. I'm going to be shortening things because most of these call for nine minutes, and well, you'll understand why I'm shortening. <laughs> I'll start standing. And we're going to go into a forward fold. So here, we probably want to drop the knees loose a little bit. We're not locking them. Feet about hip width apart. Put your hands on your hips. Inhale, stretch your head up. Your heart opens. Exhale, start to hinge from the hips and bending the knees as much as you need to to keep your back straight until it's parallel to the ground. And then you can grab your thighs, grab under your knees, wherever you need to to support yourself. We're gonna be inhaling, pressing our heart towards the ground, and exhaling, rounding the spine in this forward fold. So it's like a cat-cow, but we're in a forward fold. We inhale as we press our chest towards the ground, our head goes up. Exhale, we're rounding the spine. This may be micro-movements for you. We're just really rounding the spine as we exhale, drawing our chin in towards our chest. Pressing our pelvis forward, and as we ex or inhale, our tailbone goes towards the back of our head. Just find your own pace here and your own rhythm. If it feels good, you're doing okay. You don't have to press to your maximum. Really power your breath. Eyes are closed. 
Just feel how it feels. Don't worry about how it looks. Just working to clear stagnation from the spine, giving our kidneys a bit of a massage. If you're not all the way in a forward fold, that's fine. We are all where we're at. We can't ask for anything more. Well, we can, but mentally vibrate. Sut as you inhale, nam as you exhale. 30 seconds remaining. Last 10 seconds, really power your breath. Things like this can make you sweat with little effort. Inhale, really press your chest towards the ground. Exhale, allow your spine to round down. Just dangle your arms for a moment. Let your head dangle forward, fold to whatever you can do comfortably. Strong bend in the knees if necessary. On your next inhale, slowly bring yourself up. Your head comes up last. Just feet hip width apart, arms at your sides, palms forward, eyes closed. Take a few breaths. Breathing is through the nose. Our hands back to our hips. We're going to be drawing circles with the hips. So we're leading just with the hips, inhaling forward, exhaling back, and just go one direction. I'll tell you when to move. If you're micro movements, that's fine. If you have a lot of tension, they're going to be small. But you'll notice the more you do, the deeper you can get. Your head goes forward and back as you move. It'll be opposite of the hips. So eyes are closed. One reason we practice with our eyes closed is so we can really feel what we're doing. So oftentimes, if we just pay attention to the movement and the tissues, we can tell if it's right or wrong. We can find those points of weakness or tension. We can see the emotions as they come up. Just let them out and let them go. Time you're forward, reverse directions. So let this feel good and make it fun. Bring a smile to your face. Mentally vibrating sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. Means truth is my name. And guide us to our truths. About 15 more seconds. You can be going slower or faster here. There's no right or wrong way. Just really feel. Feel your hips. Inhale, come center. Exhale, come down to sit. The hips, the low back, the neck, and the shoulders are pretty much the tension holders in the West due to driving computers, cell phones, just the way that we operate, you know, we're like this so much and that, you know, just like, you can really see it on me, just this, 
you know, we spend so much time like this, so it throws our little back out of whack, it, which throws our hips out of whack, and it's all connected. So it's like I figured out the first thing I had to fix with me was my low spine, getting it correct and working towards that. And that like ended up, it's funny because my pain moved. Just like as I started to like correct my posture, my pain just kept on moving to different parts of my body and it still hasn't quite stopped. So, you know. So next we're gonna get into a bit of a twist. Um, with this, if you've had back problems or anything, definitely go light, don't go to your maximum because with twists, you know, you can absolutely over twist and hurt yourself. So just start slow and we'll work our way up to being a bit faster. So we're gonna make fists with our thumbs inside of our, inside of the fingers. We're gonna bring our hands up to our shoulders with our palms down. We're gonna be inhaling, twisting left, and exhaling right. Just start slow. And really go to the point where you start to feel a little bit of resistance in reverse. But power your breath and make it audible. Beautiful. Your upper arms are parallel to the earth. The heart is open here physically. Vibrating Sat Nam. Really going to work on massaging the kidneys out today, releasing those hormones. About 30 seconds remaining. Feel free to speed it up a little bit or slow it down. But honoring your limits, where your body's at, the only way to really expand, to really grow, is to be able to recognize where you are now and see the direction forward. Sometimes the waters are murky. That's why we practice. We build intention, we build strength. Inhale, center. Hold the breath, pull the elbows back, opening the heart, squeeze up on mole bond. It's the rectum, sex organs, navel point. It's like you're stopping gas, holding in urine. And exhale, relax the arms down, palms up on the knees, index and thumb tip touch. Just a few deep breaths. Really breathe into your belly. Feel the expansive nature of each inhale. How it creates space and how every exhale you just let go of a little bit. On a gross physical level, it's the breath. We can also let go of a little tension, let go of an emotion. Let go of an attachment. Next, we're going to do a bit of arm work. So we're going to bring our arms out to 60 degrees. The elbows aren't quite locked, so a little bit of a bend. We don't want to be like, you know, that, but <laughs> just a little bit of a bend. We're going to be inhaling, all, spread, spreading all the fingers out, really stretching the hands, and then exhaling and making fists, and just rapidly opening and closing with the breath. So we find a rapid breath, just spreading all the fingers out, opening up, and then closing either around the thumb or you can have the thumb outside. It doesn't matter. So it's <sighs> 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 
Eyes closed, breath is powerful. Really get your diaphragm into the breath. Inhale, exhale, drop the hands, take a few breaths, I'm doing really short times today to keep this available. Like that one, it called for seven minutes, and well, maybe someday. Next bit, we're going to be breathing through an O-mouth breath. We're going to be inhaling or inhaling through an O-mouth breath, like then exhaling through the nose. So it's like But we also have this. Inhale, we're pressing the arms out to the side with your fists, thumbs wrapped around it. And then exhale, we're drawing our, our arms into the side. So we're really making contact with the sides of our rib cage and kind of hitting there. So it's inhale. Exhale. Inhale mouth. Exhale nose. Powerful breath. Beautiful. giving us a slight massage on the sides. We're working our lymphatic system. Also stimulating the kidneys, stimulating our heart, our throat. Inhale, stretch them out. Hold the breath, squeeze up on Molbond. It's your pelvic floor. And exhale, relax the arms down. Index and thumb tip touch on the knees. Take a few deep breaths. Just really feel that breath from navel to throat. If you've had any thoughts haunting to you, haunting you, maybe bring them to mind and watch them press away. It's okay to intentionally bring things up that need to go and practice. And in a way you will inhale, let the thought come in. And exhale, visualize yourself pushing it away, freeing yourself. Come back to the fists, around the thumbs. Extend the arms straight out in front of us and relax the shoulders down. So we're not crashing up, we don't look like this. 
They relax down. And one way to check if you relax is squeeze them up to the neck and just drop. And just drop. Cool. You guys are both good. And I can't tell if you're good. <laughs> so close the eyes. We're just going to create circles moving outwardly. And you should be able to feel this in the back of your shoulder blades to some degree. And just breathe however you breathe. Keep the eyes closed. So they feel the breath, the movements. Inhale, exhale, relax, a few more breaths. Sometimes things just feel good and we don't want to stop. The next asana is actually going to be squats. And since you've had knee and you're having thigh, you might want to do them very lightly. Do not go as far as I go just because we're going to work the hip flexors, which is good to strengthen. Even if you have pain in areas, you have to figure out a way to strengthen and heal, which can be a challenge because oftentimes you're strengthening, you're stressing, but it's figuring out how to stress without re-injuring or continuing the injury, which is really what, like, you know, a lot of schools of yoga, they kind of assume that your body's in optimal, in optimal shape. They're like, here, do this. But it's like to do that, you need to have a fully functioning body. And that's where restorative yoga is handy. But even with restorative yoga, you do it too much, you can injure yourself because you're compressing tissues for extended periods of time. So it's like, no matter what you're doing, you need to be super aware of what the sensations in your body are signaling. And that is really what the cultivation is all about. You had the forceful nature of some systems, even the systems I've studied, I, I just, you know, unless if I have somebody, people in front of me who I know know themselves really well, I cue gently. <laughs> so we're gonna bring our hands to our shoulders. Feet wider than hip width apart. And we're just gonna do this for one minute. So just go as far down as you can. With these squats, we're leading with our perineum, which is in between our anus and sex organs. This is our inhale and exhale. Keep the spine erect and just lower down as far as you can. And then inhale, come back up. Just keep it gentle. No need to go too deep. Make sure it feels good. If something feels wrong, it is. But if it's just a mild discomfort, we can likely press through it. Do one more. Beautiful, come up. Relax the hands. Bring your feet in a little bit closer. Let's take a few breaths. We'll come back to sit. So the last bit of this is actually this next breath is really good if you have oral fixations or are dealing with 
addictions of that nature. It's what I found in many books recommended for it. It's called Satali Pranayam, which when I was quitting smoking cigarettes, there was one time I drove home from Kansas City doing this breath the entire way back from Kansas City. Because, you know, driving and smoking, it was just like... <sighs> <laughs> for two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing. Um, you know, and it, it's, a, it's a very cooling breath, though. It's also, if you get overheated, they recommend, recommend this breath to bring down your internal body temperature. Um, it is called Satala Pranayam, and it requires you to be able to round your tongue. Can both of you manipulate your tongue like that? Like, you can't? So just, um, there's that little... Uh, flat spot behind your teeth, just sort of press your tongue up against the back of your teeth and breathe through your teeth, and that's going to give you, it's like, you can't press your tongue there. Do you feel funny? <laughs> Laughter's good. Yeah, you know, well, there's this one thing that in one Korea we do, it's called the elephant walk. Literally has us doing this. So, I mean, if you really want to laugh, I can teach you all that. <laughs> um, so just focus on your breathing then. If uh, you can't really manipulate your tongue, just breathe through the mouth with the O mouth breath. And because we're going to be inhaling again and then exhaling through the nose. So we have two minutes of this and then some dancing. Hmm. <laughs> So hands on the knees, palms up, index and thumb tip touch, eyes close, round the tongue, inhaling through the tongue, exhaling nose. Just long, deep breathing. Make it as deep and as long as you can manage. Slow, intentional, filling your diaphragm to throat and exiting throat to diaphragm. Each out breath, release some tension, just let go of something. Inhale, exhale. And for this next bit, our arms are gonna be above the shoulders and I'm gonna play some music on the drum and you guys just move your head, your neck, your ribs and just dance. Feel your body and make it feel good. Just see it like a stretchy dance. So, yeah, I got a new one actually. Yeah, they have a lot of dissonance. I will not play them together because it sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> Unfortunately, whenever you can't try them out in person. Reminds me of a turtle effect, so. Yeah, they're really nice. So we're just gonna bring our arms up, palms mostly facing up, but just fine movement in the spine, the neck, your hips, get your whole body into it.
stretch both arms up to 60 degrees. Exhale, clap your hands overhead and let them drop. Let's take a few breaths. Next part calls for sitting on the heels. If you can't sit on your heels, it's fine. You do not have to. This is very much so a position that is hard for a lot of people, especially if you have knee, thigh issues, don't do it. Oftentimes one way to modify is putting a cushion, a heavy one in, in between your legs and you can sit on that or raise them up and that's fine. But yeah, if, if, I don't know if either one of you should. So we're gonna bring our hands to our thighs though or your knees and down and we're just gonna be inhaling up Exhaling, fold forward towards the ground and inhaling back up. It's about a four count up, a four count down. Two, three, four up. One, two, three, four. One, two. Next time you're up, stay up. Just take a few breaths. So we're gonna bring our hands to the back of our head and interlace our fingers. Our thumbs should be right at the base of our skull where that little notch is. And we're gonna chant the mantra, Ong Song Wahe Gudu. So it's A-N-G, S-A-N-G, Y-H-E, Guru, but it sounds like Ong, U-N-G, it's somewhere between A and U. The whole Sanskrit English thing doesn't really pan out. So we're just gonna really chant this from the heart. I want you to feel it vibrate you from your navel to heart. Let's inhale to begin. Hung, sun. Some way 
Complete stillness. And exhale, relax the hands down. And come lying on your backs for Shavasana. But take your time moving out of the seated. No rush. No rush. And just come lying on your back. If you need to put something under your knees to help release your low back, that's great. That's one problem with having pet rats. All your clothes end up with holes in them. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, I let them roam free. So if I accidentally leave clothes on the floor, they nest in them and it's, it's cute. They love me. Um, So just come lying out, make yourself comfortable. Ideally, your arms are at your sides, your palms are up. Ideally, your legs are mat width apart, but if that doesn't work for you, you just do what you gotta do. Another way, if you're really feeling scattered, to really bring yourself in is one hand over the navel center and one hand over the heart, and just start tuning into your breath. And just breathe and feel the way that the breath moves in and out of your body. This is even a good thing to just do on your own at night. Just really feel the pace of your breath. Let it feel full, but not forced. Relax your whole body. Your whole body is completely relaxed. Your toes, your feet, your ankles, your legs are completely relaxed. Your legs are completely relaxed. Your hips are soft. Your hips are relaxed. Your hips are completely relaxed. Your spine is grounded. Your spine feels relaxed as it's supported by the earth. Your chest and navel are soft. Your shoulders grounded. Your neck relaxed. Your arms feel heavy and relaxed. Your head is completely relaxed. Your face relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed.
Draw your awareness to your breath. Just really feel it. The subtleties of your breath. Sensation of the nose, throat, lungs, diaphragm. Make it a little deeper, fuller. Draw in the deep breath, deepest breath you've breathed all day. Inhale. Exhale with a sigh. Let's invite micro movements into the body. And slowly in your own way, bring yourself up. No rush. You just do you. Stretch out, make yourself small. <laughs> There's a positive healing information of kind of attached or it attached to me. I don't know if I attach myself to it. It's hard to know with mantras, whether they choose you or you choose them. Um, but it's, I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy, just essentially acknowledging the energy of like the universe or God or whatever you want to call it and how like that is within us and we can heal ourselves with it. So um, Yogananda, he was all about the healing affirmations and um, just sort of like skimming through the book one day, just opened it up and like this thing my eyes went to and I was like, oh, it's short and simple and it says exactly what I need, so that's it. <laughs> So before we end, we're gonna just repeat this. We'll say it a few times out loud, whisper it a few times, quiet, like in our own minds a few times, whisper and then out loud. Again, it is, I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. So I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. So let's close the eyes and really say it from the heart. If you want, you can bring your left hand over your heart, right hand over left. Close the eyes. Again, it's I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. Inhale. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. 
I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. Now silent. whisper, I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. I am renewed and strengthened by thy life-giving energy. Inhale. Bring your palms together and rub them. Exhale. We seal with three satnams and one om. Inhale to begin. Bring the base of your thumbs to heart center and then inhale to begin. Satnam. Satnam Satnam Om May we be healed May we heal May we be healed. Thank you for joining me today. Satnam.